Hi everyone, my name is Dimitris and I'm a staff engineer and team lead here at Definity in the execution team. And today I'm excited to talk to you about the Beryllium Milestone and all the cool features that uh, we're shipping with it. Uh, so as a reminder, the Beryllium Milestone is all about developer experience and enhancing the operational capabilities of your canisters with features like canister snapshots, which you can use to take a snapshot of your canister state, which you can restore to later if you need to. Um, canister logging, which helps you debug your canisters and understand what, what is wrong with them. Uh, and finally, better error messages that help you really go to the bottom of what is uh, wrong with the canister and maybe then um, some ideas of how you can fix things. Um, today, I'm going to focus on a technical demo uh, and you're going to hear more about the Beryllium Milestone in other videos that uh, are going to come. So without further ado, let's jump into the demo. So what I have here on the left is my editor with a very simple example canister that you might have seen uh, in a previous global R&D presentation. Um, so uh, this canister is, is kind of an example. It doesn't necessarily follow the best practices and it might seem a bit fictional, uh, but we use it as an example to showcase the different features, including in the EU, right? Now, the canister implements a very simple chat application. So you have here a vector of, of messages that we maintain in a variable called chat and the length of that vector. And then we have a, an append method, uh, which is used to add new messages to, to the chat application. Uh, we have a dump method on the canister that is uh, used to retrieve all the messages included in the chat. And then we have a remove spam method that we can use to filter sensitive messages, right, with with certain keywords. And then we have finally a pre-upgrade and post-upgrade hook, uh, very simply, just to make sure that the data is maintained while we upgrade the canister. So one thing to note is that there is intentionally a bug in the canister, actually, which will help us to demonstrate that the canister might get in a broken state, and then we want to fix it by using snapshots and the other features to react to figure out what is going uh, wrong and then kind of understand what fix we need and then deploy that fix after we build our code again. So on the right, I have my terminal. So I will start DFX locally now. Perfect. And I can deploy the canister using DFX deploy. Very, very simply. And the canister is now deployed. So maybe let's check whether there are any messages right now. There should not be. Yes, indeed, there are no messages right now. So let's try to, to add a few messages by calling append. Maybe I'll add a message saying, my name is Dimitris. And maybe I can add another message that says, hello there. All right. Uh, let's check if these messages exist. Indeed, yeah, if we call them, the messages exist. Now let me try to add a message with a sensitive keyword. So I am going to do an ICP giveaway. So giveaway is one of the sensitive uh, words. All right, so this message was also added. We can verify by again calling them. And so now, before we try to remove uh, any, any spam messages, let's make sure we have a snapshot of our canister to ensure that we don't lose any data in, in case anything goes wrong, right? So for that, first, we would need to stop the canister because we need to stop a canister before we take a snapshot. Uh, so I'm going to use the stop command for that. And now I can use the snapshot command, specifically create, to create a new snapshot of this canister. Perfect, the snapshot was created. So let me check also the list of snapshots for this canister so I can see the snapshot here, how, how big it is, and the timestamp that it was taken at. Perfect, so now I'm going to restart the canister. Okay, and uh, I, can, I can verify that the data is still there. All right, and now um, let me try to remove some of the, the message that is considered a spam message by calling remove spam. 
Okay, so remove spam returns how many messages it found. So it found one message that looks correct. So let's again verify by calling dump. And yes, now indeed we can see the two messages that are saved. And then the final message is marked with removed as spam message. Okay, exactly like we, we would expect. Now, uh, let's say I would uh, want to call remove spam again, right? It should not do anything. So let me try to do that. Indeed, it says it found no spam messages. That looks good. So if I call dump again, oh, okay, now there is a problem. So there's basically no more data anymore, right? But that shouldn't have happened. Like my remove spam here should have been a no op. So what should I do now? I need to maybe check what was happening uh, and what led to the situation, right? So if I go to my canister, you can see that I have some print statements. So I'm adding some logs. So maybe I'll use the logs to try to figure out where things went wrong, right? So let's do that by using the canister logs command. Okay, and what do we see here? So first time that we called remove spam, we see found spam message. I'm going to do an ICP giveaway, removing it. And then the filtered sat is indeed um, what we would expect. Now, in the second time that we called remove spam, it does print no spam keywords found, but then it does print that the filtered site is empty. So we, we made some mistake there probably, right? So let's look at the code of remove spam and try to find these messages. So in the second case, we are here where we say no spam keywords found, the chat is unchanged, but I guess we haven't updated really the chat, right? Like if we look at the other case where we do remove the spam messages, there is this instruction here that updates the chat variably, right? We forgot to do that in the other case. So that's where the problem comes. Okay, maybe that's not too bad. We only had two messages basically, right? So maybe let's try to just add the, the, the two messages back. So let me try to call canister append again. And if I do that, we get some mistake here. The canister is trapping apparently. So we can see here that we get some backtrace in this line of our application. So let's go there and try to see what's happening. Line 40. Okay. I guess we had this assert here to make sure that the length of the chat that we maintain is exactly the same as the number of messages in the chat. And of course, now this is violated because we, we basically I think advertently removed all the messages without updating the length variable. So now actually the canister is kind of broken, right? Like we don't have any messages and append is, is in a bad state. So we cannot really add the messages back. So what is, uh, what is the other option? Well, we can go back to the canister snapshot that we created before we started this, uh, this whole effort, right? So let's try to do that. In order to restore a snapshot, we again need to first stop the canister. So let me do that. And then we can check again the snapshot list to see what snapshots exist. Okay, and we can get this ID and then we can use DFX canister snapshot load chat and the snapshot ID. And that loads the snapshot back into the canister. So let's now restart the canister and see if our message is there again. Okay, so the canister is restarted. So if I call dump, yes, the messages are there again. So we, we successfully managed to restore to the previous state. But as you can see, the spam message is still not filtered out, right? But now we also know what was the problem in the in the first place, so we can go back and fix our remove spam, upgrade the canister, and then try again and make sure that everything works fine. So as we discussed, the, the bug is simply that we forgot to set the new chat after we filter anything, if we filter anything. So let me add this and then do a DFX deploy. So we upgrade the canister to the correct version. Okay. And then if I call dump, of course, the data is still there because we, we preserve the data across upgrades. And now let me try to remove spam again. So I'm going to call remove spam again. Okay. Again, it tells me one message was filtered and indeed 
If I call dump, we can see that. But now let's verify that our fix really worked. So if I call remove spam again, it should tell me that no messages were filtered, indeed. But then if I call dump, yes, I can see all my data there because we fixed the bug. So the chat now. All right, and this was the demo for today. I hope you found it useful. So as a recap, we showed how you can recover a canister that is broken, even in the case where the canister's primary endpoint is blocked or, or trapping all the time because some environment was broken. So we used logs to understand what went wrong and figure out where we had a bug in the code and also snapshots or the snapshot that we had taken in the beginning to restore back to that state of the canister and then fix the bug by deploying a new version and be able to continue with the cancer's life cycle. So yeah, I hope that was very useful. If you're interested in the example or playing around with it, we'll put a, a link to this example in the description of the video, so make sure to check it out. Thanks for your attention and then see you soon.